hey guys, well done on your GCSE results now, it is time to start thinking about A-level. Um, so I've done a bit of shopping for a chemistry for you, in addition to my general back to school shopping, um, and here are my essential things for back to school for A-level chemistry. First of all, no surprise really, it is my books, yes. Um, as you may have seen mentioned before, um, I'm not a massive, massive fan of revision guides because your school should be providing you the textbooks. Um, your school teachers should be providing you the notes you need. I've made loads and loads of videos and notes you need. What you need are practice questions. And that is what I've made for you in these workbooks here. Loads and loads of practice questions, answers in the back, and loads, um, this one ends with a really big long, long exam paper. Loads of multiple choice questions in the start of the exam. So this is the um, atom selection structure and bonding one, and there's also the summer start to A-level chemistry, which is gonna be, these are kind of like your, your introduction to chemistry. So if you find yourself struggling a little bit in class, because there is a big, big jump between um, GCSE and A-level, I would recommend my books. With the math side of things, this is the book that I like, Math Skills for A-level Chemistry. They also have um, A-level Biology and A-level Physics as well. The answers aren't in the book, but you can find them on the internet. It takes you a little bit of time to actually search for them and find them, but they are available for you on the internet. Um, it's not a massive book, but what it does have is like a page of worked examples and then a page of kind of like a couple of questions. So there's not loads, there's only loads of questions in there. There's a few questions for you to practice. Um, it's not massive, but I'm going to be making loads and loads more videos for you on maths this year. I'm afraid you have to do a lot of recalls, so flashcards. Whether you want to make your own flashcards, whether you want to download some of the ones that I've made for you over on my website, um, you're going to need to know things like um, your common values, your common formulas, and you're going to need to know your ions for everything. These are absolutely essential for A-level flashcards. Molly mods are another absolute essential. I am evangelic about these by the fact that by Christmas time, the majority of my class have gone out and bought their own kits. Your school may have loads and loads to provide you, they may not. These are ways of seeing compounds in 3D. This is so, so useful when you actually come to do things like shape of molecules and bonding. As I have said before, you are going to need to develop um, an interest, a passion for something, so that when you go to your UKS application, when you go to your university interviews, you can talk about something with confidence, and you can talk about it a lot. Much, much beyond the scope of your A-level. So, here are four, three series, I've got the other book here, because I can't remember it at the moment, um, which, they, they, they cover quite a lot of topics, but they cover them in a really, really accessible, broad way. So first of all we have graphic guides. They are like little cartoon books but actually cover some quite hard theories. This is quantum theory. Um, there are a couple of hundred books in this series. Slightly more challenging, um, written by like you know, university professors, are a very short introduction to. Again, these aren't proper textbooks, they're just very short introductions to topics. Um, so if you find a topic you're interested in and want a really accessible starting point to it, these ones and then the manga guides too are going to be really, really great places for you to start to develop your interest in a topic. And then I said it in my last video, but it's worth stating again here, you're going to need to get loads of stationery. So nice tapes so you can colour code all your books, post-it notes so you can work out which bits you need to do when. These notepads are awesome because you can doodle in class and then these pens are so, so good for A-level chemistry because you're going to be one highlighting your notes and this one here is three pens and a pencil, not just your standard four colour pens. Um, so there we go guys, a few <laughs> essential shopping bits to start you on your way to A-level chemistry. Um, it is really, really, really good fun, I promise. 